Hi, my name is John Huffman and I am a choreographer. I started dancing when I was 13 and um, I knew that was a little bit late in the game. Uh, it took me a while to get my flexibility and my training to where I thought it was going to benefit me in the dance world. Um, I had a great teacher, her name was Chris Duncan. Um, she was very supportive um, and then she left my studio for personal reasons and I decided to stay with the studio that I was with um, because they did singing and dancing and because I had a feeling that I wanted to do musical theatre um, and I actually was doing musical theatre at the time um, with the community theatre. Um, I decided to stay with Johnny Young Talent School um, on the Central Coast and I furthered my singing career uh, while I was doing my dance training. Later on in life that helped me because I finally went to New York and I did Broadway shows and I worked with Radio City Rockettes um, and I had a great career. Um, but there was something missing and uh, that was teaching. Loved choreography. I used to make up my own dances. I used to make my friends do my dances. Um, I put the costumes together, I put the songs together and we would compete them at our competitions locally. It was a real passion of mine to keep creating um, on a daily basis. So here we are. Um, I own a dance studio in Fort Lauderdale, Florida called Performance Edge 2 School of Dance and I have now opened the doors to the world. I am finally lending my choreography uh, trade to the whole entire world because I am originally from Australia um, and I also am a resident from uh, the state so I decided why not do both? Another yearning for me to continue on a path that uh, made me want to create. And I really, really want to like reach out to as many kids as I can because I, I just know how much this world that we live in is so small and it has to do with uh, connections and it has to do with um, people that really motivate you while you're like doing this like crazy world that we call dance. Um, it's hard, you know, the training is really hard, the, um, there's days that you just don't want to do it, there's days that you love it, there's days where you're crying, there's days where you're laughing with your friends, and it's just an up and down roller coaster that we live in, um, but it's worth it. I would never choose to do anything other than what I'm doing right now. So I decided to open my doors of creativeness uh, and I'm going to set out to teach kids all around the world. Um, I've always been a big believer of not giving up on your dreams. I was a kid that was not flexible at all. Um, I had bad turnout. I had doctors after I had knee surgery telling me I was never going to dance um, and I proved them all wrong. I persevered through all my injuries um, at a younger age and I, I have done so much. I've been from a small town in Australia, I've gone to Japan and lived over there and worked at Universal Studios. I then decided why not let's go to New York and once I was in New York, things just became a reality and here I am back in Australia full circle and I've been hired by my old dance teacher, uh, Chris Duncan, because she owns a huge dance competition called Dance Life Unite. That just proves how small this industry is. It doesn't matter where you are, who you are training with, who you might be dancing with, you never know what that person's gonna do in their years to come. 
I'm a huge believer to not make any enemies in this uh, this community because it's just you never know. That's pretty much it. And to be honest, life's too short. Why would you? Like it's all we're all running and training for the same goals. Why wouldn't we want to support each other and continue to help each other get our dreams? It's beyond my comprehension why somebody would want to darken somebody's lights when just to, to, to what? To benefit them? Because in the end, you don't know who that person's going to be. So if there's anything that I can bring to my students when I'm teaching is that you focus on the training. The training is what you need to focus on. Everything else, that's somebody else's job. The person behind the table at the audition, that's their job. Um, the person who's going to set the choreography on you, that's their job. You just need to train and be present and do the best that you can do. And that's honestly what I've done. And here I am, a worldwide choreographer, award winning. Um, I now have a foundation that's supporting po uh, positive uh, reinforcement in the dance community because that's what's lost. We've lost the love, we've lost the care, we've lost the like, the actual goals why we all started to dance. And I'm gonna bring that back because in my heart, I want everybody to succeed. I wanna see everybody grab their dreams and look back at their life and say, hang on a second, Remember that guy who taught me? Yeah, he told me to go get it and look what I did. So if I can be that small factor in some student's life, that's all that matters to me. And honestly, that's bigger and more powerful than anything that I have achieved in my own life as a dancer and my achievements um, on my resume. So I just want to teach. Hi, my name is John Hockman and I am a choreographer.